Let's go to the Valley of the Kings. It's early morning, like 6.30, the best time to go. It shouldn't be packed with tourists because, uh, you know, the global situation. We got the most beautiful ice cream parlor. How are you, man? What a legend. Hello. Salam. So guys, we make it in. This is the official ticket booth. And once you're here, you can take a tough tough if you want. And this is Sayed. If you need any guides, of course he will try to crank up. So you 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 bargain with him, but he speaks very good English. How are you? Man? Yes, very well. Thank you so much. In this video, you'll see my vlog at the Valley of the Kings. Uh, if you want to know more about Luxor, how to travel it in two days, check this guide that I did. The ticket purchase process is a little confusing. There are more than 60 tombs, but only eight are accessible to the public. When you buy the regular ticket, you get access only to three of these eight tombs. If you want to visit some other tomb, like the tomb of Tutankhamun or Seti I, you have to buy a separate edition ticket for each tomb. The Tutankhamun tomb, for example, cost 300 Egyptian pounds per person, about $20, and the Seti one tombs cost 1,000 Egyptian pounds. But if you need help uh, finding a guide in Luxor, write me down at this email and now enjoy the vlog in the Valley of the Kings. The King. Valley of the Kings is the most important place in Egypt because here is the period all the famous and the great kings in Egypt from the New Kingdom. Here is in the Valley of the Kings in Luxor, they discover until now 62 tombs, all the 60 tombs from Sri Dynasty. And we, we hope to discover more tombs because there is more than five dynasties undiscovered yet. And by the way, the last discover on that valley, it was in 1922, was the British archaeologist Howard Carter when he discovered the tomb of the famous and the golden pharaoh of Egypt, the kings Tutankhamun the tomb number 62. That's the famous tomb. As you see there is written treasury. That's probably where they find the treasury. And this mummy is still here. Compared to the others, of course, it's a smaller, but this is where most of the gold was found. Crazy. Next tomb, we going to the first, the tomb of the King Merimbitah. Merimbitah is the son of Ramses II. He's the son number 13. Merimbitah. Merimbitah. He's ruling Egypt when he was 70 yeah, years old and he died when he was 80. They just ruling 10 years. Actually, 10 years, it's not enough to finish the tomb because the tomb take more than 16 years. So you will find some part in the tomb unfinished. Can you tell us a bit about the Luxor Pass cave in place? Yeah, Luxor Pass is, uh, is the best way for visiting all of this tomb and all the area. The Luxor Pass is a single ticket that includes all of the archeological site in the West and East Bank. So there is a, a very big discount. So you have to do this. So from uh, from where you can buy it? Uh, from the best place for do it is uh, on the Karnak Temple. Okay. Karnak Temple. You start from there, you buy it, and after for all the looks are you you are relaxed. Free. You can access all the, all the temples, all the, all the tombs, all the for even the even for the expensive days. tombs like Seti. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Luxor's part premium. Premium. It's for Seti and Nefertari. Make sure to bring with you some five pounds, ten Egyptian pounds notes because in every tomb there is a guard. And generally, if you leave a small tips, they will allow you to shoot uh, to support the local economy. Let's put it like that. Side Osiris, the cup. Osiris? The battle, Osiris. Osiris. The god of the tomb. Statue. Uh, you can see. Or Nuts and God here. Mm -hmm. This is Mary. Mm -hmm. Or picture top. The ah, cover. picture on top as well. It's speaking lights. 
Mm -hmm. But this this looks strange. It's original. Ah, this is not original. No, but the restoration. It's a restoration. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Are we going to go And as we have the value of the kings, also we have the value of the queen. Yeah, that's behind that mountain. How's the Egyptian ancient? They choose this place. The first reason because that place in the west side, and they believe the sunset, the sun die in the west. Second reason, look at here. That's the pyramid shape. Is the natural pyramid shape in the old kingdom? The kings they must to build his tomb as a pyramid. Why the kings they built the pyramids tomb? Why they not build any other design? because they believe by the god Amon Ra, and they believe the god Amon Ra, they live on the top of the pyramids. And when the god, you know, live on the top of the pyramids, the kings, they guarantee the god will resurrect him again in the last life. That's Ramses five and six. That's one tomb to two kings. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not the, uh, uh, Yunani, uh, Yunani, um, yeah. Greece, yeah. Uh, graffiti, because the tomb was, uh, the people know this tomb since 2,000 years before. From? from? It... So you like this more than the Seti? Uh, no, Seti is the, the best it's one. The best, but the yeah. second one is this one. It looks like Bas City, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You after, go? After. Yeah. after. Please. After. Yeah, yeah. You know, with the Alexander conquest and also the people come here, uh, they visit the tomb 2,000 oh. years uh, before, oh. you know. And, uh, like so this is where the graffiti is yeah. from the first yeah, tourists yeah, yeah, of 2,000 yeah, years ago. They, they were right. already punks. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm not sure. 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 Like a little bit. Yeah, the ceilings are the most amazing part. So I don't understand, why the sarcophagus is broken, you got that? I don't really know. Wow, that's huge. Ah, so that's, that's the astron... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so the sun, the sun gets in from there, and it goes, and it disappears, okay. Yes, and that is the tomb to the best pharaoh, right? to the best and famous pharaoh of Egypt, the tomb of the King Ramses II. And it's closed? It's closed, yeah. Good comment, guys. Allowed. Yeah, I know, but what do you say, Manu? It's not allowed for the guys to come inside. Ah, okay. You told me, you know, they, they pick the, when you see them upside down, it's like the enemies. Yeah. Sometimes they don't have hand or head or uh, dick, you know? Yes. <laughs> this one. In, yeah, like... Which one? You, you see the... Uh, and, the and these are like slaves. Yeah. Slaves or enemies. Enemies with a... No, we're not touching, we're not touching. Yeah, the heads of the enemy.
This is the famous holy duck. Or as they used to say in ancient Egypt, for duck's sake. And as we have the value of the kings also, we have the value of the queen. Yeah, that's behind that mountain. Sekavash, how are you, man? Fine, fine. And you fine? <laughs> yes, look, the best people in Egypt. There you go. The regular ticket to the Valley of the Queens costs 80 Egyptian pounds, around $5. But the access to the tomb of Nefertari costs 1,000 Egyptian pounds, about $60. Another good reason to buy the premium Luxor Pass. But here is the tomb of Nefertari, yes? Yeah, yeah. It's the, the most important is the Nefertari queen and uh, one of the most beautiful, I think the beautiful in Egypt. Is uh, yeah, well, one of the best. The color, very nice. It's small, but uh, quite impressive. Hello, Zaid. The tomb of Nefertari is the highlight of the Valley of the Queens, but of course there is much more to see. There are many more tombs. We're right in the heart of history, guys. Unbelievable. But I hope I was able to give you the main idea of what the situation is around. And if you want to stay in Luxor, I want to suggest you one of the best hotels I've ever been, the Steigenberger Acti. If you want to see the review, watch this video.